Yo, 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 yo. Go with it, people. Let's go with it. Thank y'all for tuning in. You are now tuned in to the fans' point of view. Game day picks with Shad and Trek and Chubby, your two favorite co-hosts out here on the internet and these YouTube streets. What's going on? What's up, Shad? What's up? What's up? Ready for this game day, man. You know, ready for this game day, uh, man. Get some of these picks through. It was some wild, crazy games last night, huh? Yeah, I was able to see the score. My, my, mm. uh, somebody tried to rub it in my face because Syracuse yeah. lost last night. But, you know, it's all yeah. good. And a close one, too. Close one. Very um, close. Yeah, very it was close very one. close. Um, you know, Kyle McCord made a couple of decisions that I don't think he should have made. But, uh, yeah. And the first thing that went through my mind when I saw – you know, the stat line for, for what he did. Yeah. Uh Coach Brown had been well had let me try to use try to be grammatical early this morning. Use my proper <laughs> grammar. Coach Brown Coach Brown yeah. was was singing his praises for the first two weeks, so much so that he stated that, hey, look, I'm gonna send Ryan Day a bottle of champagne because right. that's how that's how thankful he was that he was able to pick up Kyle McCord, right? And so obviously I'm sure there's some Ohio State fans somewhere and there's probably some other Macau, <laughs> Kyle McCord detractors that are probably like, you sure you want to still send that same bottle of champagne? You know what right. I mean? But you know it is what it is, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. Yeah. But, you know, they get over I thought it was a great game, bro. I thought it was a great game. You know, I don't want to hold it against him because even though he threw the pick, he scored this one touchdown, Chad, where he yeah. ran and dove and put his, his sacrificed his body. So, you know, I like that play out of him. That showed his team, like, look, I, I messed up. That one was on me, but I got y'all back no matter what. I'm here to win. And, I mean, look. It was on it was on a defense that wasn't because of Kyle McCord. The defense let that that play up, and Kyle McCord brought him back. You know, the defense kind of you know gave up that that the field position for the field goal. So, but yeah. they were fast on the field, but uh, you know, it was a team effort though. But it was a good game. I'm I'm surprised that Danford looked as good as they did. Yeah, I gotta I gotta like I said I gotta go I gotta go back and watch it so I can put together my. Okay. Analysis of it, you know, get my video out. But you know, just listen to the, you know, to the post game, you know, just kind of some insight from that. Mm -hmm. You know, Coach Brown felt like they got out coached, and he felt like that Stanford was the more physical team, and so that to me, that shows a few things to me. Well, for one, obviously, Fran Brown, first time head coach. For two, they just they recently they just came off a of bye week. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like where they reading their press clippings yeah, and they had to match Georgia Tech's physicality, yeah, you know, did. before they went on the bye week. And it seems that he, they weren't able to match Stanford's. And then obviously they had a couple of guys that got, you know, uh, injured in practice leading up to this particular game. So they were out, you know, they were out with some guys and then some guys got kind of banged up within the game. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, but again, you know, it, you know, as he said, you know, they'll they they'll learn from this. You know, they'll move forward from this. But yeah, I, I am kind of down. You know, like I said, I'm 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 it's really very, I'm, I'm really invested <laughs> in Syracuse, and Michigan, and yeah. Michigan State this year, along with my Hurricanes. But I, I'm, I'm it, it, it kind of hit me because I was yeah. watching it. They were down twenty to seventeen, and I said twenty to seventeen to Stanford, like. Yeah. Like bro, I and I forget I and I was trying and I wanted to Google his name before I got on the show, but F it. I didn't Google his name. I have not watched a Stanford football game since they had that running back that 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 lost to Heisman that year, uh to De behind Derrick Henry. I'm sure like I said, you just not getting into it, so that's probably yeah, I don't you know, even know. You're that's, that's, I'm speaking. I'm speaking <laughs> French to you, but it was, it was right. like it was, but like it was a real close race though. Like the running back, like he was big, white, burly guy, knee brace on, like Larry Zonka type. But like he put up net mad numbers. But he he lost. He ended up losing the Heisman to uh, well, like I thought they said that was like the the closest Heisman race in like recent memory. 
But he like okay. lost like a Derrick Henry, so like he was a monster. But I haven't watched the Stanford game since then, and we know how long Derrick Henry been in the league. He been in the league so long. They talking, you know, he been in the league so long. Yeah. They're already talking about all right. It's time for you to hang it up. So that's how long ago it was since I watched a Stanford football game. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. Yeah. Got it, bro. Hey man, so I mean, look, are you worried a little bit about Syracuse right now? Take man, no, no, you know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about it. But what yeah. I am concerned about, what I will say, is that I need them to be consistent on defense. Okay, gotcha. Week one, you couldn't stop a, you couldn't stop a no, you, you, you couldn't stop, you couldn't stop an ant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and running the ball, right, right. Then week two, you come in and play a team that that is what they want to do, and you you match force with force. You they ran stopped. the ball, you stopped the run, mm-hmm. and they're gonna have to do that. And then the other thing that I noticed, even though they did prevent Georgia Tech from running the ball prior to the bye week, Haynes King had two of the most like ridiculous quarterback touchdown runs that you'll see. Like these, like. These runs don't happen very often. It's just looking at the box score, the Stanford quarterback, he got his on the ground. I believe he had about 65 yards rushing to go, you know, which was part of the 173 that they had total. So they're mm-hmm. going to have to get the run together. I haven't looked forward to their schedule, but I do know they're playing us. Um, they have a kind of relatively light schedule, but I'm but they're gonna play some more running quarterbacks. So they're gonna have to get that, they're gonna get that, they're gonna have to get that addressed. And you know, LaQuint Allen, one of the best running backs in the ACC. Hey man, they just they they stopped him and they stopped Randy Gatson. Like, so I mean, kudos to Stanford because yeah. Syracuse has a four-headed monster at offense, headed by Cal McCord, LaQuint Allen, or Randy Gatson, and uh Tabor. Right, Tabor yeah. got his, but Stanford stopped the other three. Yeah, you know, they did. for the yeah. most part. Yeah. yeah. So, so you gotta take your hats off to them, right? Right, right, exactly. I feel you, dog. I feel you. I feel you on that. Oh man. So, like, what up, QB? Hey, Shad, do you remember making a bet? With somebody about the Dallas Cowboys and the signing, you remember doing yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I got, I got, it, I got in the chat. I, I told him, uh, what's his yeah. cash out, so I can, I can shoot him that, so I can shoot him there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm oh, a stand yeah. up guy. Oh, my yeah. man, Shad. Yeah, that's, that's my guy, bro. That's my bro. I love my bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm broke, man. Salute to my yeah. brother, Shad, man. Stand yeah. up guy, man. Stand up guy. That's what's yeah, up, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. give it a hundred. You, you feel me? Keep it a buck. Yeah, solid guy over here. What's up? What's up, Bishop? Salute the Bishop. Salute the uh, QB out there, man. Y'all could just sit back, grab your morning coffee, just listen to the soothing sounds of the fan point of view game day picks, baby. You dig? Um, so last night, Illinois was able to beat Nebraska. Um, were you surprised about that game at all? I mean, with Illinois beating Nebraska, or were you like, I kind of thought that Illinois could beat Nebraska? I mean, again, you know, the, the thing that even though I say this all the time, I still I still catch myself and caught up with the logo. Yeah. And the logo says Nebraska was supposed to win this game. But in reality, Illinois is a, is a solid team. Like, they're probably tier, tier three low you know low tier two team from a big 10 perspective but right. i mean they uh under brett billima they're gonna do what brett wants to do it which is run the football they've and brett billima you know to as quirky and weird as he is yeah. I mean, he's he's a he's an accomplished head football coach so he has a solid team up there um I had their defense last week in my fantasy they got me some you know they got me about 25 points last week so you know uh, you know, I'm, I'm straight with Illinois, but it, it comes as a surprise from a storyline standpoint because, and you've said this multiple times, right? And mm-hmm. it's, even as many times as you say this, it's still kind of, <laughs> it's still kind of, it, it, it still takes a while for it to kind of, set in. what's the word I'm looking Yeah, set in where you say no one's going undefeated, right? Right. 
There's some individuals that watch Nebraska do what they did to Colorado last week, do what they did to, you know, their first opponent. And people, obviously, and I don't know how familiar you are, but Nebraska has what they call the black shirts, which, you know, is a iconic thing that they have. And, mm-hmm. and so there were probably some people that was like, they were looking at the schedule. A lot of, a lot of people that have much bigger platforms than we do. They said Nebraska has a schedule that very well could see them in contention for the Big Ten title this year. Mm -hmm. And losing to Illinois, now individuals have to retract those statements and say, hey, man, Nebraska's not ready. But I'm not going to say that. They lost to a good team. Yeah, it still is a good team. I mean, they just said it. I mean, the thing of it, I mean, this this is a top 25 matchup. I right. think what Nebraska mm-hmm. was twenty three, Illinois was twenty five. So based on mm-hmm. rankings, twenty four, really, twenty four, twenty six. There's really no difference in in that. We've already done our hierarchy earlier when we said the top three teams, and then this massive gap down to the rest. So th- there's no gap between the twenty second ranked team and the twenty fourth. There's no gap. Right. It's gonna come down yeah. to coaching, and again, the game went to overtime. So what more? So what more can you? What more can you expect? You know, you know, you know I, I think it was how it ended, you know, and that may have some of Nebraska fans worried. Like, Illinois was just able to just, you know, get through that offensive line of Nebraska's in, like, seconds. It was, like, sack. I think they ended the game. It was, like, third and 40 or something, bro. But bro and he I'm still saying, got like, sacked, bro. It was, like, got, it, it was ugly. a good defense, man. You yeah. know, the – and the killing part about it, you know, when we talk about the Big Ten, we talk about defenses, right? At least over the past, maybe say three or four years, it's kind of been Michigan, Penn State, Iowa, right? Kind of in that order. But Illinois has had a very, very good defense for the last for the for the past couple of years. Not 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 one that you're gonna put up there, but they are tailor made, like. They were tailor made to do something with Nebraska. Tailor made. Wow. Hey, that's that's interesting you say that because I was trying to tell somebody last night when we when I had one of the panels, I had a panel show going yesterday, and I was trying to tell them, I said, I don't know. I don't know. I said Illinois kind of they did lose the Kansas, but you know, I did take them in the points though. I did, I ain't gonna lie. Wait, no, wait a minute. No, they didn't lose the Kansas, they beat Kansas. I, well, that's what I'm saying. But you know, even though they beat Kansas, oh, I well, thought you were saying they lost to Kansas. Oh, my bad. No, no, no. Well, I, okay, you know, I swear I talk the way that they beat Kansas. You know what I'm okay. saying? And then I was like, I think they might get Nebraska. So I actually took. I I actually had Illinois in the points they gave them, which was seven and a half points. So they were seven and a half point underdogs. So I did take Illinois to win this game. So let me go ahead and mark that because I definitely took Illinois in this game versus Nebraska. <laughs> it's a fact. It did. I did. I did. I took them. I did, bro. I really honestly did pick them. Um, well, you know, if we'd have picked this game earlier this week, I would have I would have went with Nebraska. <laughs> you would have went with Nebraska. <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. I would have went with Nebraska. So obviously, to start the show off, I'm already 0 for 2. <laughs> nah, I, I, I'm already over two because I was. I'm taking. I'm taking the cue 